four billion years ago when life was taking its first steps on this planet half a billion years after the earth formed the environment at that time was very different there were violent volcanic eruptions thunderstorms lightning temperature variations were drastic during the daytime it would be for example high temperatures at night it will be very low temperatures the concentration of gases in the atmosphere was also changing so all these changing changes when they were occurring life was taking its first steps as we know in order to preserve life we have to maintain homeostasis which means the internal environment of the cell has to be preserved we know that the two activities that are required for life one storage of information second the ability to catalyze reactions or enzymatic activity and we also know that enzyme enzymes are sensitive to physical conditions for example temperature ph so one of the first things cell cells did is they developed systems to which allowed them to sense the environment which which was followed by systems that allowed them to res, uh, respond to the environmental changes so the internal environment of the cell was preserved this was very important for the continuity of life and this ability of cells sense and adapt to environment allowed them allowed life to continue cells not only need to sense their environment for changes but also to find nutrition they need to be able to find a safe place where they are away from the threats and also to mate these are some of the things some of the the reasons why cells need to sense their environment the second biggest step was going from a single cell organism to a multicellular organism and it is not that multicellular organisms are clumps of single cells and they are just and each cell is existing independent of the other cell that's not what we mean by multicellular organisms multicellular organism or multicellularity means that in an organism is composed of many cells and some of those cells are specialized in a specific function other cells are specialized in a different function on screen you can for example see a single celled organism paramecium and another organism a sponge one of the earliest organisms which was formed this organism has specialized cells that allow this other cells to sport the function and they have a sporting function giving this organism a specific shape they are the skeletal cells other cells are specialized in feeding they have ability to sense food and capture it so there is specialization in multicellular organisms for the overall benefit of the whole organism there also needs to be coordination between the cells so cells have to figure out for example if there is a specific nutrient required cells have to cells that are storing that particular nutrient are informed that they need to release it so the other cells can benefit from it so this step from going to from going from a single cell organism to a multicellular organism took 2 and a half billion years whereas formation of the first cell first life form on this planet took only half a billion years after the earth had formed so it is not just that signaling is for single cell organism multicellular organisms rely heavily on it some of the necessary functions that uh, signaling systems provide is as i've mentioned earlier in order to survive the for example an organism which is which can sense its environment it is becoming adverse for itself it has to move there has to be coordination for example when a person is running the blood sugar is uh, sugar is being metabolized and the level of glucose is is decreasing in the blood 
So there has to be a system that tells cells that are storing glucose in the form of glycogen in the liver cells. There has to, that information has to be conveyed to the liver cells to release, break up glycogen and release glucose. So this, this is the type of coordination I'm talking about. Additionally, for example, during development, when we have mentioned that life starts from a single celled organism, when these cells start to divide, they not only are increased in numbers, their, their number is not in, just increasing, these cells have to find their specialized function also. So for example, some cells will become kidney cells, they will differentiate into kidney cells, some will differentiate into heart cells, muscle cells, liver cells, brain cells, and we know all these cells are very important for the overall benefit of the organism to making sure that organism survives and is compatible with life. So this is some of the things that are responsible the signaling system allows organisms to do. Now I would like to briefly mention that generally we think of signals as molecules that are released in the body or we can sense them in the environment. It is not just the molecules that are the signals. You are able to see me because a photon of light is hitting your eye. And that photon is basically the signaling entity which is allowing your cells to to able to when they detect that photon or the light particle, it causes certain changes that allows your brain to form a picture. We will talk about that in more detail, how you are able to see me uh, in a subsequent and one of the subsequent modules. Temperature, for example, is also doesn't have uh, is not a molecule or a particle signaling particle, but we can sense temperature as well. Similarly, there are organisms that can sense the magnetic field of this planet. For example, the birds, we know that they're migratory birds, they fly to a specific location every summer or winter. So how do these birds know which way to go? So they certainly don't have a map or GPS. It's, they, can, they can sense the magnetic field of the, this planet and they can charter a route using the, the, that magnetic field. Also, some bacteria can sense this magnetic field and they can also line up just like needle of a compass. They can detect the magnetic field and they can line up on the poles. So these, we have just talked about some of the things, signaling, signaling uh, why the signaling is important. Next, we will talk about how the signaling systems evolved.